And we're back. <laughs> After two part seconds. two. Did you miss us? Two seconds? The two seconds that... Or maybe you got up to go get a drink because you, you decided to, to wait to watch the rest. Speaking of drink. <clears throat> hint. <laughs> hint. Hint. As Medeas, I promised Mariana I would do his accent because I actually have relatives who sound like that, uh, who live in the in the South, and some people have said they don't like his accent, they think it's a stereotype. People, my family sounds just like that. It's not a stereotype, it is how some people sound, and I think he's, he, he kind of reminds me, I, I was telling Kayla, actually he kind of reminds me, well, he reminds me of, like, uh... He reminds me, he reminds me, he reminds me. I'm trying to think of all the many things he reminds me of. <laughs> Besides the Kentucky Fried Chicken, man, the Colonel Sanders, as I know. Well, he does have the been. white uni- outfit for it. He does look like the Kentucky Fried He made me hungry for fried chicken, it's true. But, um... <clears throat> I think the voice that I was thinking most of was the robot in Futurama, the... The cult guy... Who's always doing like the robot church and like you must confess your sins. <laughs> and so that's what he reminds me of. Um, kind of like someone who leads a hate church or something like that. Like, you know, we must. Uh, I don't know. It, it just, just all that stuff. So let me, let me try and do it. I don't know. Tell me what to say, and I'll try and sound like him. I don't know. I do declare I don't know, but I do know this. You're an idiot. I'm an idiot, <laughs> and that's what matters, my friends. That is what matters, ladies and gentlemen. And I also promised Mariana I would say sugar pie, cherry pie, and all that I other stuff. Do Declare. think I saved Lucifer's life? I saved Lucifer's life. Wow, didn't go well. <laughs> it just makes me feel weird to say to, <laughs> to you say that. Um. Yeah, because when I was uh, at a family reunion in Florida, there were some alligators, and we were kind of close to them, and uh, my aunt, one of my aunts there was like, y'all come out of there, they'll eat you faster than a vacuum cleaner sucks up dirt. <laughs> like that, that's exactly what she saw, like, I love her. <laughs> and uh, that's what they, that's what some of our relatives sound like, it's awesome. So yeah, I love his accent. It also makes me think of Redwall, because of as. So every time he comes on, I want the theme song to be do 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 do. You you never watched that? You'd love that show. <laughs> you would absolutely love that show. That should be my turn when when we do your Stuff. turn. My turn should be Redwall because you'd love Redwall. We can do that if you oh, want. Yeah. As we were. It's not like I don't have the Chromecast for it. Sweet. Chromecast is freaking awesome. Chromecast is the best. Get a Chromecast. You can put YouTube and Netflix mm-hmm. on right onto your TV straight it's from wonderful. your phone. And the CW app, which is how we've been able to watch our shows. Mm-hmm. I digress, <laughs> uh, as we always do. So Donatello shows up. Uh-huh. Asmodeus is out to get Jack. Donatello thinks, kind of agrees with Dean that Jack's like, he is... Dangerous. Powerful and dangerous. They all get into a fight. Sam, Donatello... Dean, they get into a little argument, and Jack <clears> teleports <throat> because he wants to just get away from all the yelling, so he he goes outside by teleporting. So Sam goes and finds him. He's not far. <laughs> he didn't go far. Cass used to teleport, like, all the way to another side of the country and, like, get them sandwiches and such. Jack, uh, he, he just went outside. <laughs> no, you made me think of the Leviathan one when uh, he went to... To the other side of the world and slaughtered a pig to get them sandwiches. He comforted it before he slaughtered it. <laughs> he thanked it for its serve sacrifice. <laughs> oh gosh, I can't wait for Cass and Jack to interact. This is going to be one heck of confusion all over the place. Like, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> it's going to be, and I, I really want Rowena to be there to see it. Like, that would just be the I can imagine thing. her sitting down with some wine and just yes! chuckling at them. <laughs> This is very fun to watch. <laughs> this is a riot. <laughs> Sorry. Jack, do that teleporting thing again. No. No, I don't want to do it again. It hurts my head. <laughs> I can imagine him asking, why is, why is your voice different? Yeah. 
<laughs> and Dean's like, that's the question that you want to ask her? How about why is she such a bitch? <laughs> then I'm she hits fine. him with something. And then she'll hit him with something, and Jack will be like, should I heal him? And they'll all be like, no, he deserved that. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, we're, we're writing our we're own story. Um, just too much fun with, with Rowena. She, she, there's a reason she, so many people wanted her back. Yeah. She's just so funny. She Ruth is. makes it work. Oh, she's just the best. And we're just so excited to see her back and hopefully interact with Jack. And it's going to be great. Um, so, yeah, so Donatello and Sam and Dean, they kind of separate. And uh, Donatello goes... He takes Jack with him. Dean goes to the bar, chats with a bartender who we find out is actually Asmodeus. I felt bad for the real bartender. <gasps> yes. Especially uh, since it looked like she, her throat had been slashed. Slashed. See, that was the thing that made me the worst about, the worst thing about the Leviathans, why, why they were my, like, when it came to the villainy and everything, why they infuriated me the most out of everybody. Until Lucifer killed Rowena. Um, but with the <laughs> Leviathans, they would kill people, and you wouldn't know. I mean, Sam and Dean would be talking to these people not knowing that they were actually <coughs> Leviathans. And it would upset them when they'd find out, oh my gosh, this person was literally in the other room. Except and... for Roman Dick. Yeah. <laughs> um, or Dick Roman. Yeah. Dick Roman, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Roman Dick. Shut up! Um, but yeah, so she was like right where Dean was, and I, I know that would upset him if he ever found out. Um, so yeah, and also Dean was texting somebody, and we were just joking, like he was texting the sheep. He was like, I know you're out there. Makes me Reveal wonder who yourself. He was. <laughs> maybe he so, texting? Maybe asking uh, a friend to look up what he they could about Nephilim. Maybe he was looking something up, or he and Sam were anchor texting. Oh. <laughs> there. Codependent. I could see like Dean texting Sam and like I'm going for a walk and Sam's like bring back milk. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring back milk, mm-hmm. aka vodka. Vodka. And he's like, you know me so well. <laughs> Sorry, we're writing our own story here. And then Rowena cuts into the text and bring back scotch. Oh, or champagne, or something. <laughs> she likes. I don't sure know what something she likes. Expensive. She like she changes her drinks all the time. Jack likes beer. He didn't even see the <laughs> gag on I it. I am three and a half days old. <laughs> Dean's like, how old do you think you are? Three three days, something something forty seven minutes something seconds, and he's like, eh, so I count that as legal. <laughs> Yeah, he drank pretty well. He did drink pretty well, yeah. He, he handled himself. Emulating Dan, Dean all the way, which was freaking <laughs> hilarious. Was so much fun. Dean was getting so annoyed, and I don't think it was just, look, Dean gets annoyed at things. It's not just that it's Jack. <laughs> Dean's never a fan of people being cutesy. I mean, he used to get annoyed with Garth. He used to get annoyed with uh, Cass. I mean, they, he got annoyed when Crawley and Cass were pretending to be FBI agents, emulating Sam and Dean. It drives Dean crazy when people try to be him. It's like, stop it! Stop it! Yeah, I love it. He didn't seem to notice uh, J- Jack imitating him. No, not not until the end part, and then he was like, will you stop? <laughs> <laughs> he did start to notice when he, like, as soon as he saw the, like, the bottle cap pop on the on the table. Then Dean was like, not another one. Every everybody does it to port, like Sam and Dean. Every single time they meet them, they start to wear flannel. They want to be hunters. They want to do this. They want to do that. They want to be Sam and Dean. Yeah, that's true. When is the? Uh, it's gonna be entertaining when he's when he Dean wakes up one day and uh, he sees Jack and he's wearing flannel. Hey, flannel. Like uh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Mental <laughs> image here. Okay. Third episode opens with him opening his eyes, and Jack is wearing flannel, and he's all excited. He walks up to Dean. Look, I'm wearing flannel. I Look found what this Sam one. gave me. I found it. I found. No, no, no. Here's 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 my story. Go wait wait for it. Okay. He's like, I found it inside this other room, and it fit me, cause I'm tiny, you know. And he goes, That's my mom's. Oh. <laughs> he's wearing Mary's flannel. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, um, 
So that's going down. Asmodeus does end up trying to convince uh, Jack, uh, pretending to be Donatello. He's trying to, he's pretending to be Donatello, and he lured Jack away from the hotel because Donatello had to go get his burritos. Mm-hmm. They're spicy. He tried to have Jack open up a portal to somewhere. Hell. Okay, hell. <laughs> I know, but somewhere in hell. I didn't know. Um, yeah, there he's was a trying to place. free these creatures that uh, they were so awful that even God would not allow them to see the light of day. Like they have even Lucifer never, was afraid of them. Even Lucifer hated them, which is why Asmodeus was punished on the ass ah for um, for trying to train them and make them these perfect little soldiers. And Asmodeus thinks the best thing to do and please Lucifer is to free them and try and prove to Lucifer that. He was right. Do you really want to do that with Lucifer? Even if you do turn out to be right, Lucifer's ego is the size of the planet Earth. He is not going to be happy that you disobeyed him. Uh huh. And Jack, um, Dean, the rest of them uh, mm-hmm. show up to try and stop them, and uh, Jack sees this, and mm-hmm. the demon, or yeah, what's his face, tries to. As well uh, as. Okay, Scarface. <laughs> Scarface! We're calling him Scarface now. Um, uh, he starts choking the three and, uh, the royally pisses off Jack. And Gets he mad. G- glares at him with glowing eyes and uh, Scarface just goes, bye-bye. Yep. I know what comes next. Goodbye. Yeah, so those creatures, uh, what were they called again? I, Shanids? Samids? I, 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 I don't know. Samids? I'm sure we'll hear more of them. Yeah. They're coming. We're gonna see them. Well, uh... Definitely. All this is, is going on, and in the reverse world where Lucifer actually is, he's with yeah. Mary, and they ran into a bunch of angels. And... <laughs> yeah. I... I actually am getting a real kick out of Lucifer's uh, uh-huh. uh, mouth. He Same. is just so Same. snarky. He's snarky, and he's funny, and Mark Pellegrino does such an awesome job with his performance. I mean, I'm so you want to hate him, but he's yeah, just so... I do! Don't get me wrong, I hate him for, you know, for killing Rowena. And, and making for every suffer. other thing that he's done. Mostly Rowena. I mean, they were trying to do this redemption but, route with him in season 11. That didn't pan out. And then he started just kind of going down his own little route in 12. But when he started to, like, the whole thing with the baby, it was like, oh, maybe maybe he is going to get redeemed. I mean, it's supernatural. Crowley, the king of hell, got redeemed. I didn't want I that. I doubt but it. I, would, but... I, you know, I didn't doubt I didn't think it was actually going to happen. But I didn't actually hate him as a character until he killed Rowena. And that was, that was my... My final draw of, okay, officially the villain I want to die a miserable death. (laughs) (laughs) What if he Um, actually didn't kill her? Yeah, the whole thing about, like, he claims he killed, maybe he didn't actually kill her. Maybe he knows that she's still alive. Well. And just didn't want them to know? mm -hmm. Maybe threatened her? In a sense, I also enjoy, uh. How Mary acts around him. Yes, she's. They have she good knows, uh, back and forth. She knows that she, that he somehow needs her, but she, yeah. he she thinks he's gonna kill her at the end, so she's yeah. not gonna bother. She's uh, like no. Uh, hiding her comments about him. No, nope, she's gonna run. She's gonna fight him. She's gonna try. She got sent to a different place from Lucifer and yeah. ran into a hunter, which. Was... There's really not that many humans on the Earth of that alternate universe because of just the disintegration. Uh, the angels and the demons are fighting and they kind of rule the roost, whereas uh, the hunters are scarce. And there's barely any. And Mary's dead there. John's dead there. We don't know how many are going to pop up in the AU, but I highly doubt it's going to be that many humans mm-hmm. because there's um, just barely uh, any. And the hunter first chance he gets to see a female he tries to rape her yeah got uh, his jerk got a hand through his chest for said uh yeah. transgressions thank thanks to lucifer yeah but wow it's still yep that's wow yep well, what was he trying to i mean it, 
it's debatable whether he was trying to rape her because he was I don't know if he was gonna rape her if he was just getting flirtatious and too handsy and then and then eventually gonna get a little too forceful but as far as throwing her to the floor he was gonna shoot her hmm maybe he had his gun out and ready um yeah maybe he was going to I mean well just a, it was the impression I got world. people become their truest character in a world like that I sure. mean, that's always the case and we have met some douchebag of a hunters and I could definitely see the worst of hunters surviving. I mean, Bobby's alive there, so thank goodness. But I could see the worst of hunters so you're surviving. you're calling Bobby the worst of hunters. I said, I mean, Bobby's there. <laughs> she never listens. No, I listen. I just like to poke fun at you. Never listens. Poke, 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 poke. Never understands me. I do declare <laughs> I am not understood. Um... Where was I going with this? Um, I could see the worst of hunters surviving because they're cowards. Because they let other people die. True. The ones who fight get killed. Mary's dead. Bobby's just badass and able to outdo him. But, I mean, if we're going to meet these AU characters, we're... Bobby doesn't have to deal with Sam and, De- Sam and Dean. Oh my gosh, when they end up in that world, it's going to be the best thing ever. People are going to be like, who the heck are these people? And where <laughs> have you guys been? You guys are freaking badass and... Who are you? <laughs> Why? Where have you guys you. been hiding? Why couldn't you not exist in this world? Mary, why didn't you say yes to the girl? No. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, the funny thing is, I think a lot of people, as excited as I am for the alternate universe and meeting some of the characters who are alive, I mean, get you get in ready for the fact or the capability that the character you want back is not going to be a likable character in that alternate universe we know bobby is he worked with sam and dean so we know bobby is but who's to say that certain other characters aren't now very bad people because Mm -hmm. of what the alternate universe has turned them into and who's to say uh michael might be uh less than michael's always been a dick True, but (laughs) still. He's ruthless. It could be worse now. Yeah, but Michael's back. Uh, He took some other vessel because, you know, in the original it was supposed to be Sam and Dean. Dean never wanted him. He's like, nope, I never wanted you. The answer is no. And I don't know if, like, he's going to meet Dean and finally be like, oh, yeah, you know what? Let's uh, let's do this. And Dean's still going to be like, no. No. (laughs) I said no there. I'm saying no here. The answer is no, no, no angels, no demons in me. No. Not happening. Um, but uh, Michael's, Michael won in the alternate universe. Lucifer's not too happy about that. <laughs> That's kind of funny. There was no definitive winner in this universe. There wasn't, because Sam and Dean put a stop to it. Uh-huh. They stopped the apocalypse. So whoever was in that situation, mm-hmm. even if the good, good in a sense, guy... That Sam and Dean had... <laughs> Whoever they so they said yes and mm-hmm. I'm battling it out. Mm-hmm. Cause this. Cause this. And well, it was the apocalypse. So yeah, you know, Sam and Dean just have that that bond. That's like no, not happening. Goodbye. Uh, Sam, you know, jumped into the pit and Michael's still there in the cage. So. So that's where Michael is in our world. Yeah, he's in the cage. Singing, uh, Kumbaya. Camp Town Races, apparently. I don't remember what he's singing. According to, uh, to Lucifer, he's singing show tunes and masturbating. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we are at 19 minute mark, so I guess we better go on to part three. All right.